Coach Chins, uh, talk to me a little bit about uh, FIU's uh, offense. Well, it's a, it, you know, this is an interesting game, obviously. Uh, brand new coaching staff. Uh, we don't know all the players. We don't know exactly what schemes they're going to run. But, you know, we played these guys last year, uh, so we'll go through a little personnel. Number one has, has been one of the, the best running backs uh, for the school as far as, far as overall career has gone. Um, right there we got the ball out, but he's been dangerous out of the backfield. As we move on, we're not really sure, you know, what, which quarterback's going to be in the game. Um, they have two, you know, Troy, they got, they got a guy that can run all the stuff that you guys do, the read option, all the speed option guys, a guy that's real slippery, um, this young man right here, and he caused us a little issue last year getting out of the pocket. You can see here he's, gonna, he's slippery as heck. He can go. And then we got one more clip of, of Alex McGowan. He's, he's had a, a great career for these guys, and he's more of a pocket guy. Um, a couple years ago, he really did a nice job throwing the ball against UCF. I know he had a, he had a big game, um, but he's done a nice job. You can see here, we had the blitz on. He stayed tall in the pocket and delivered the ball. So it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. We know the personnel a little bit. We don't know the scheme, um, but we know they got some good players that we need to keep under wraps. Talk about how the offense is going to go after these guys on defense. Yeah, just like you said, uh, with a new staff, a new defensive coordinator, and it's going to be a game of adjustments, you know. That first series, they may come out of something that we don't expect, and we have to make adjustments uh, on the sideline, and, and we're ready for that. Personnel-wise, uh, up front, they return three out of four starters. You know, they try to create um, chaos, disruption up front. You know, if they can get pressure on the quarterback, they feel like, uh, you know, they're not, you're not going to have time to throw the ball, and, and, and they can make things work. You've got 91, Anthony Johnson. Um, he does a good job of, uh, you know, collapsing the pocket. And so up front, they're a formidable, formidable task, and uh, we've got to be ready. Linebacker-wise, uh, 52 uh, played inside. He's probably their stud linebacker. A um, little undersized, but he flies around, like you can see in this picture. You know, he flies around. He's a, he's a, he's a ball hawk, and he makes plays, so we've got to be ready for him. Uh, the other linebacker, the number 53, um, is also a good player. Both of these guys okay, are seniors, so they've been around and they're fast flow linebackers. In the secondary, they return basically their entire secondary. And so they're veteran guys, um, and we've got to be ready for anything they, th they throw at us. Interesting group on both sides, right? Mo one of the most experienced team in the country coming back on both sides. Yep, yep. And you know, uh, we got after them last year, and so we're expecting them to remember that and expect, to, expect for them to get after us, and, and, uh, and we know that they remembered what we did.